Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth Eden Run. Making progress very slowly with Guppy's Head, Nearsighted Friend, a Tower Card. Uh, really good speed. 8 SH0, 8 J4D. Um, we start with a Guppy item. As far as I'm concerned, that makes this good, even though we only have two Spirit Hearts. Uh, it, it could be better, obviously, but assuming that we can actually get uh, some extra DPS, which is integral to our chances for success right now, because our rate of fire is uh, somewhat poor, and also uh, our rate of fire is like average, but our damage seems fairly bad. Um, but uh, if we can get a little bit of extra HP, enough to carry us uh, through the first two floors, while allowing us a reasonable number of times to be hit, oh, that's not reasonable, um, then this is in a really good position. Yeah, I mean, I genuinely mean that as well, like, uh... Guppy's Head is probably, you're looking at like a B-plus tier, maybe A-minus tier spacebar item. I, uh, I like it. I like it. It could be better, but I like it. Let's check out our item room. I'm just trying to resolve my opinion on it. Butterbean is, uh, the biggest slap in the face in the entire game, so I'm just taking a quick peek around here to see if we can get five cents. Uh, six cents, thankfully, I guess, but, uh, five cents is a threshold for us. I was also looking for a tinted rock. Uh, five cents is a threshold for us when it comes to getting a, uh, spirit heart. So that's one way we can get a spirit heart. We're also one tinted rock away from having a very good chance to get a spirit heart. All we need to do is actually find said tinted rock, which we are presently lacking. And we could use the tower card, but honestly I've got myself spooked on the idea of using it as a result of the fact that I used uh, Anarchist Cookbook so much on the last run and it didn't pan out fantastically. I mean, we won fairly handily, but that was largely just a result of picking up Holy Mantle, which saved my ass. So there is a... Um the opportunity for us to use... Oh, there's a Tinted Rock, thankfully. There's the opportunity for us... I regret nothing! <laughs> to use a... A bomb to get a Tinted Rock here. I'm, I'm so glad we used that Tower card, because I saw these guys coming from a mile away, and I got scared. But luckily, they, they took forever to get here, and also, uh, that Tower card freed up a bunch of space. That room could have been really, really bad if we didn't have that. Okay, just keep moving it along here. And then it's not an issue. And we will just, I guess, head into our boss fight, which is against the Widow. I shouldn't have anything to worry about here on this boss fight. Widow's relatively easy. I will say I'm missing not having, uh, well, I mean, it's not like I've had it before, so it doesn't really make sense to say I'm missing it. However, I'm... A little silly. I'm feeling a little silly about the fact that I don't have a uh, nun's habit right now. Because if we could just pick that up as early as possible, um, we'll be able to generate a lot of flies. Holy crap! It took uh, brass balls to jump down there under the widow, but it actually got the job done. So that's great. And anytime the widow can actually destroy uh, her own spiders is a great uh, day in my book, as far as I'm concerned. And luckily, that seems to be happening a lot because it spawns these like slow double spiders and then literally jumps on top of them right afterwards. Uh, Occasionally, which is awesome. So the Widow's dead. Long live the Widow. Please give me some HP. Do we go to our curse room on this floor? It's a bit of a toss-up, but I think we do. Okay, good. I want to see if maybe we can get enough money to make something happen in our shop, but I don't know. Uh, Code Hanger is fine. Code Hanger is a good item. The extra tiers upgrade should be fairly useful for me. And uh, we don't have the ability, unfortunately, to access... The, uh... Oh, Curse of the Lost. Or Curse of the Maze, sorry. We don't have the ability to access that uh, chest, but that's okay. Not worth it. Not at all worth it. But at the same time, we got the extra Spirit Heart, so it's not an enormous problem. And uh, thank you for reminding me that Butterbean is here. That's something that I'm definitely going to want to take with me. Uh, freaking never. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we got a nice little head start for the next level. Deal with the Devil should be incoming or will be dead. Uh, and we do need to get a key as well. And hopefully we can get a few extra Spirit Hearts as well. In order to facilitate this. But this is good, actually. Uh, especially if we can get some more keys to take advantage of that. Another curse room being here. You know, every single one of those, as far as I can see, is just a ticket in the cat piece lottery, man. Should have killed him so I could have kept a spider, but whatever. Um, Should have killed him myself with the tears, I mean. So I could have kept a spider for this room. But it's a relatively small strategic problem, I imagine. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the situation. I just wish... Uh, 
we could get a few more keys so we could guarantee ourselves the ability to access all these rooms that I uh, so desire to right now. Please, uh, Mr. Champion Exploder Man, could you stay away from me? Nearsighted friend. Nearsighted friend, you got him. Oh my god, this item. Nearsighted friend is just a, a complete shit disturber. Wasting our time here. Might as well shoot these. Ooh, that actually makes me want to go to our shop instead. We can get a key and a spirit heart should they have them for sale. Do I have the sack? I don't know if I have the sack, man. Let's try it. There is a key. There's no spirit heart, but the key was only three cents, so I think this was relatively well worth it. And honestly, the virus is pretty bad, so that wasn't really like a terrible setup. Um, I don't know if we want sharp plug. It's great with the wafer. It's not really that good with uh, Guppy's head. Another key actually gives us maybe the ability to go access that uh, golden chest. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm confused right now. Curse of the Lost is not helping. We don't want anything to do with that. But I, I would really, if possible, like to get a Spirit Heart before accessing our boss fight because we won't be able to pick up a deal with the Devil if we get one here. Mind you, I've only been hit once, but still, like, uh, it's a little bit disappointing. Even if I had not been hit at all, we still wouldn't be able to take a deal with the Devil unless we really had, again, Brass Balls and it had a chance to bring us back to life or something like that. Hmm. Hopefully we have the opportunity to find a uh, tinted rock in here. We struck out on this room last time. And it was also adjacent to the room that had Butterbean on it, so I've got bad memories. It's just like that time at summer camp. Uh, nothing like really bad happened to me at summer camp, but uh, I did drop... I was changing in the bathroom stall. So I was a little bit of a shy kid. And as I was changing, I dropped my sock into the toilet. And it was like, uh, you know, it was clean water. But at the same time, it's toilet water, so it's never really that clean. And uh, then I came back and I was like, hey guys, I dropped my sock into the toilet. And they were like, how'd you drop your sock into the toilet, you idiot? And I was like, well, you know, here's how it happened. They were like, that's stupid. I was I was 22. It was last year. I'm. That's a weird story because it's not... The, the part about me dropping my sock into the toilet is true, but I am not 23, nor did it happen when I was 22. I was like... I was 12, which is older than I should be to be dropping uh, socks in there, but anyway... I still have those socks. I wear them every day. Uh, I'm gonna go back here to our uh, to our golden chest just on the off chance we pick up an item or something like fate. Maybe would be sweet. Or uh, we got a spirit heart, which is like the other thing that I was looking for in there. And we also picked up a dime that's top of the line. I like to see that. Um, okay, that did one. Are you kidding me? Like I get it, but at the same time, are you kidding me? That hurts, man. It was just a little tiny bullet. I thought all the bullets didn't do 1 HP. I thought half of them did 1 HP and half of them did uh, less than 1 HP. This is freaking me out here. I could die on this room. Well, actually, we'll use death against Larry Jr. and it'll kill him really quickly. So all we need to do is worry about the monstro. Um, but I was like, well, with that amount of HP, maybe we can find it in our hearts to go to the shop. Or sorry, not the shop, the curse room. One of those. Nearsighted friend almost got a chance to do a little bit of genuine damage there. I feel bad that we've taken his opportunity away from him. Okay, what do you got? 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 Oh, roasted. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna go to our curse room. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully, we'll get more spirit hearts in here. Uh oh, ooh, ow, ooh, ow. Um, take this one first. Speed down. That's real bad. Bad gas. We won't take this pill yet. We definitely don't want another speed down. Is that a speed down pill again? I can't remember. It's not. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good, but I'm gonna try something weird. Two of spades, that's pretty good. Chariot, that's actually also pretty good. I'm, I'm going for broke here, man, because I want some big payouts. The Fool, as uh, not as good. Wish I'd known before the whole curse room thing went down. Pheromones, okay, so we're gonna take the chariot with us for now. Um, maybe use it on the boss fight? I think we already went this way, yeah. So that was probably not worth it, but we did get some benefits out of it. We got a few keys and um, we learned some information about our run, which is important, I think. Which is important, I think. I don't know why I turned to male Marge Simpson there. Homer! Mm. This is not a very good Marge Simpson impression, Northern Line. That's okay. That's okay. 
All right. Let's keep it going here. Ah! <laughs> it's all right. Nothing to, nothing to be afraid of there. Another key. It's Monstro again. I hate this guy. You're a real dick, Monstro. Okay, so I'm going to try to get him to jump on top of my unicorn horn. Let's have some fun. This beat is stick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Oh, Poison Touch is actually doing, like, shit all. But still, we're going to get a deal with the devil here. I don't know how the hell we're going to make this work. Um, ideally, we get HP, and then we get a 1 HP deal, I suppose. Let's try not to kill ourselves on a deal with the devil. That seems bad. Okay, we got HP with some damage. Guppy. We have to take it. No doubt. The ability to fly is going to be valuable for us here. Um, we do have a fool card, so I think I'm going to go back for the fool card and just make sure that we're good here. I don't... I did do that room. Maybe I got some extra money on there, probably. All right, we're going to go back for the fool card, and then we're going to leave, because our other card was... Well, two of spades, which we used, chariot, which we used. Okay, there's our fool card. We still have good money. We got good HP. Deal with the devil precedent. We can fly. There's good things going for us, and of course, we got a little bit of a damage upgrade in the form of uh, meat. 0 0.3 is not amazing, but... It's okay. Uh, it's better than zero, at least, and hopefully we'll be able to use our bombs and leverage those into a small rock at some point, get some extra survivability. Or, not a small rock, tinted rock. Extra, get leverage it into some survivability, and maybe also a, um... Uh, maybe also some damage in the form of small rock as well. For now, let's keep this up. I'm still hoping that we find uh, this mythical nun's habit in our shop. It's a little bit overrated. Like, I, I think I'm overrating it literally at present. That was not very good. But it is helpful. Uh, I gotta admit, Blank Card Fool is interesting and allows us to do some some funky stuff. Especially if we get other good items with Blank Card. I'm gonna keep uh, another other good cards, I should say. I'm gonna keep this for now. Callus doesn't really do anything for us, but I guess by holding it, we can reroll it into something else later. If we get a better card, uh, and it doesn't take a lot to be a better card, but if we get a better card, I may take blank card with us, but for now I need this extra damage bonus. Bonus? <laughs> this extra damage bonus uh, from Guppy's head, or we're not going to be doing any damage. And now that we actually have a hive mind, I think it's even less likely I'm going to take blank card, which is going to annoy people to some extent, I'm sure, but like a hive mind with Guppy's head is a huge damage upgrade for us here. Alrighty. Let's go and open this. Four more bombs. Probably worth it, I would be likely to say. That's real bad damage, considering I just paid three cents for the that Spirit Harbor. That's okay. Damage is really starting to bum me out here a little bit. Even though we just got High Might, even though we just got Meat, I'm like, ugh. We are so slow. But that's okay. This is the floor, man. This is where we get a random Cricket's Head, and then next floor we get Death's Touch. And then we just ball out of control with our sweet-ass guppy items. Cat pieces, if you will. I wonder if BFF has Nearsighted Friend doing, like, twice the damage or 2.5 times the damage or whatever it actually ends up being. You picked the worst possible time to, to do that. I totally uh, got you set up for that ages ago when you chose to ignore it, and then you choose to hit me. How can he slap? How can he slap? No spirit heart. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that. Let's not, though. Okay. The good news is, on most rooms, four Hive Mind Flies is probably going to do most of the damage that needs to be done. That's got to be our uh, second secret room below us. It's just too, too obvious. And now that I've lost my freaking spirit hearts, I'm in a weird spot where I can't actually afford to, like, uh, pick up a deal with the devil if we get one here, which is already unlikely, but still. Uh, I'm just going to blow this up in the hopes that we pick up a spirit heart out of it, which is not really what you should be doing if you want to get a spirit heart out of that thing. That's okay. Oh, tears upgrade. That's actually very, very good. All right, so Gertie is going to be a pain in the ass. We have no orbital, and Gertie takes so much goddamn damage. I really cannot stress enough that this is going to try my patience to the nth degree. But that's okay. We're just going to keep it up. Nearsighted friend is going to very laboriously bounce around, and uh, at some point, perhaps even it'll pass through the hitbox of uh, of Gertie, and it'll help us out here. But uh, I'm starting to consider that a long distant pipe dream with very unlikely odds of coming through to fruition here. Oh, wait a minute! Wait, I think it's bouncing through. Too bad it doesn't do any contact damage. That would be way too much to ask for. All right, we got an 
injure this nub just a little bit here so we don't have to worry about getting hit by it in the future. Gotta dodge the fly shots in the meantime. Decided friend, please take out some of the flies. Oh, you got one, I think. Ah! All right, we still have an equal chance of getting a deal with the devil that we had before, so. It does exist, but really, I'm just looking for some DPS here. Please, God. Um, it is a small DPS upgrade. The shot speed is actually nice, because it helps with our effective range, too, which I was going to complain about. But I was going to complain about a lot of things. Good. Good. Just keep a move on here. Eh, it's not that bad. I've been guilty of underrating this screw a little bit. I overrated it for a while, and then I've been underrating it. It's a 0.5 tiers upgrade, if I remember correctly, which is okay. Is 0.5 tiers worth um, the same as 0.5 damage? I don't think so, but it's uh, it's not terrible. At the very least. We can make something happen with it. At least it wasn't just like, um, you know, Pageant Boy. Pageant Boy would have been a real piss off. Even though it would have let us uh, buy something on the next floor. I don't think we really want it that badly. We'll go back for that. A lot of shooting, not a whole lot of shots, which is what I like to see. And we get another one of these, which I'll take advantage of. And speeds us up a little bit here. Could have used blank card, I guess, a little bit more. But we don't have any cards to go with it yet, so it kind of seems like a bit of a moot point. This should be the end for us. That is almost certainly our secret room. Just a very likely secret room location. And three more cents. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to try this just to see if we can get an arcade on the next floor. All right, well. Not worth the bomb, I'd say, but that's okay. Blank card devil. Honestly, I don't really think so. I don't really think so. So, I'm sorry, blank card, but we got hive mind on this floor, and I gotta... I gotta stick with this, because, um... We don't have really that much damage. And also, it gives me a chance to sing the Pussycat Dolls, obviously one of the best all-girl groups based on a burlesque group from the mid-2000s or later. Nobody gonna love you better. I must stick with Guppy's head for now. Doesn't really rhyme. It was weird, because this that song came out, like, seven years or six years before the original Binding of Isaac, but... You know, they've always been ahead of their time. Nicole Schkirchinger, she's always, uh, she's always been an innovator. Perthro. That's good. Blank card Perthro is really good. So, uh, I probably should have taken blank card. Oh well. We have some guaranteed damage instead of a better D6. It's, I would take, uh, I don't like Cursed Skull either. I would take, uh, Guppy's Head. Or, sorry, I would take the D6 over Guppy's head to begin with, so I definitely feel like I've made the wrong decision. But it's kind of one of those things where the wrong decision is still pretty good. It's like if you go to a restaurant that only has uh, pizza and cheeseburgers on their menu, but they're both good. You're like, ah, I should have taken the cheeseburger. But nah, the pizza is still pretty dynamite, so don't sweat it too much. You know, you're still not, you're not leaving hungry. That's what they could call the restaurant. They could call it leaving hungry. Especially if they made a sitcom of the same name to promote the restaurant. I find that they don't have too many restaurant ba or sitcom based restaurants anymore. We used to have a, a restaurant in Canada called Nichols and it wasn't a sitcom based restaurant but it was a restaurant that was based heavily or it was like a 1950s diner but it had a, like a Celine Dion theme as well because she was an investor or something like that. Those were the days man. Nichols was actually, I think they still have them in Quebec but where Celine Dion's popularity is probably still quite great but um Nichols was okay, man. Oh, Jesus. Two health upgrades. We're saved. We're saved. We should get a deal with the devil. Or at least I should say we have like a 75% chance of getting a deal with the devil. So it might be higher. It might be 75, like 0.75 times like 135. Which is like an 80-something percent chance of a deal with the devil. Maybe even uh, or low 90s. Either way, I'm happy with it. Um, we should really go back and get our HP. Otherwise, we won't get a deal with the devil. With the red hearts, we'll just get spirit heart deals, which will kill us. Because we won't have any red hearts. Alright, Chubb is not so bad, although I wish I didn't waste my bombs on literally nothing. Our quest for DPS is not over. If you could please give me just a little bit more DPS and then a deal with the devil that gives us even more DPS. If we are not going to use this now, when the heck are we going to use it? Thank you. A few extra flies actually helps out. For a few flies more. Hey, Chubb, your flies open. Okay, there's not many good one-liners here. I'm trying, though. 
I'd take HP. We might be able to use it. Blood Clot. That's a slight damage upgrade. And I had a feeling, like, it always seems like the second deal with the Devil, if you truly need something, is going to be Krampus. So, um, I actually hope, somewhat selfishly, that it is Krampus's head so I can re-roll it with the Perthrow Rune. But if it's Lump of Coal, that's probably better for us, so I don't even know. I'm my own worst enemy here. We're so close to having decent HP, we just need you to give me some red hearts, too. Oh, okay, good. Oh, the, the dream has come true. Perthrowed it into the pact, which is totally fine. That's pretty good, actually. We're starting to build a semi-serviceable run here. Still slow, but semi-serviceable, nonetheless. Bear Taffy, don't even sign into my fucking friends list playing Rocket League. You practicing without the, the squad, buddy? You trying to... Pat, you're, you're gonna move to Barca on a transfer this summer? Don't you dare, you glory-hunting son of a bitch. Alright. Um, we still have an item room to get here. I guarantee... I got a Skype message. I guarantee it's Bear asking if people want to play Rocket League. Yo, is anybody here interested in some Rocket League? What a guy. I told you. He's addicted, man. Rocket League is in this weird position right now where we played so much pre-release that... Uh, we played last night. We played for like four or five hours. We beat people consistently like 12-0. And then we'd get matched against developers. And the developers would just wipe the fucking floor with us. And then we'd get matched with people and beat them 12-0. And then we'd match up with like people named Rocket League Dev. And I don't know if they're actually devs. The ones that were for sure devs were named like Psionics underscore whatever their name was. Dave and Ben, I think, but, um, Andy, maybe? I can't remember. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Um, but then, you know, Rocket League Dev is kind of like a name where I'm like, if I was coming up with a fake name to trick people, that would probably be high up on the list. But now you can use Rocket, Rocket League, or, sorry, Psionics Ben. Um, where are we going here? Where are you going? I got a, um, that was Dave Matthews band, which I apologize for. And then I apologize for apologizing for it, because, uh, you know, I'm just going my own way here. I gotta go freaking back to get that bomb. Oh, it's a cat piece. Okay, I mean, I, I, I figured out how to solve this. We go, who, ha, and then I'm an idiot for having to do this, but that's okay. Because we want to make sure that we're getting this if we can. And it probably wasn't worth it, but that's okay. The next gat, uh, gat piece. Try to get close and your ass will get smacked. My homie Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre have got my back. Never let me slip, because if I slip, then I'm slipping. But if I got my Nina on, you know I'm straight tripping. Anyway. I, uh... Yeah, anyway, just apropos of nothing at all. There's a, one of the verses of nothing but a G thing. But, um... My voice might sound a little hoarse. It's gonna sound like I'm the biggest baby in the world, but, uh... There's been these, like, wildfires. Uh, okay. There's been these wildfires in British Columbia. Not in Vancouver, but not too far away. And the smoke has been, like, wafting down here. So the whole city has been awash in this haze. Like, it's really, like, Silent Hill-esque outside, even in the daytime. And I've been breathing that smoke in. It sounds like, yeah, the officer in question right now is like, yeah, uh, sure, buddy, wildfire, sure. Anyway, but for real, it's here. You can see the pictures on the internet. So my throat is, like, fucking chewed up, man. Um, this rerolls, this rerolls, uh, cons not consumable, sorry, this rerolls item pedestals. So we should see if we can, uh, get some item pedestals that we want to reroll and then take advantage of this room. I don't, I, I do want pushpin, I want that way more than callus. Okay, good point. So yeah, that's why I'm, a, I've got like a little bit of a sore throat and, uh, I was wondering why. I'm pretty sure that's it. Getting old, man. I used to live in, um... In South Korea, as I mentioned at any opportunity, and people are probably getting sick of it by now. But uh, they have this thing called like the yellow dust that shows up in, uh, I think it was like July. And what it is is, is like uh, windstorms show up in like the Gobi Desert or whatever the desert is uh, in China, and they blow like all this dust together with industrial pollution, and then it just kind of wafts down, you know, through North Korea and South Korea. And it really, it's the same thing. Like everyone in the country wears like a mask. Um, not the mask with Jim Carrey. That's a national classic, but it's a different thing altogether. Um, and, uh, and they protect themselves from it. And, you know, you look in puddles and stuff like that, and the, the puddles all have this weird, like, yellow tinge around them because all the sand and, you know, heavy metals that get stuck in it, uh, 
And at the time, I was like, oh, you know, you guys are pussies. Just deal with it. But now there's a little bit of smoke in Vancouver, and I'm like, oh, my, my poor throat. Uh, to be fair, though, I do speak for a living, so I think throat irritation is probably a little bit more of a, a concern for me now than it was then. Yeah, and teachers, in a way, do speak for a living, and their job is harder than what I do. Don't let me act like I'm saying that it's not. But I do do more speaking than the average teacher, I'm just saying. At least when I was a teacher, I did less speaking than I do now. That's probably the way that I should phrase that. Anyway. And more singing as well. So, we got Tech Point 5. Tech Point 5 is a great item. We're still not set yet. Like, uh, that could be good. We're not set yet. We're in a good position, and Tech Point 5 helps out. Despite being a great DPS upgrade, though. I don't think we want any of this. Let's just donate. Oh, we're only on Necropolis 1. Let's not donate. Um, we're not in a, a set position yet. So, I'm kind of hoping that... Uh, we get some more. Despite being a great DPS upgrade, it's not that great. Like, it, it could be better. So we're hoping for not able. <laughs> that it was not able, so I guess I, I'm happy with that. And then we're going to use our four room if we need to to reroll. Uh, maybe we'll reroll Cube of Meat, even though I do like it. Um, we might be in the market for some other, like, direct helpers as opposed to more, like, defensive pickups. Uh, also, we will reroll whatever the shop would like to reroll into probably won't try to reroll a deal with the devil if we're lucky enough to get one because we would just like to have it okay we're gonna reroll let's try we might as well give it a shot is my hypothesis at least so we do have nine lives but we want to you know try to avoid death if it's at all possible we also try to want to not get closer or our ass will get smacked i hear that my homie snoop dog and dr dre have got my back Said something about slipping after that. It didn't make much goddamn sense, but it's okay. All right, give me a IV bag, please. Why do I want IV bag? So I can reroll it into something else. But if we don't get IV bag, give me blood bag. That is fine by me as well. All right, so we should probably do our reroll thing now. Where did our where did our blood bag go? Is it down here? What the heck? Where the heck is my blood bank, man? It was there just a minute ago. I know we're on Curse of the Lost. It's not like I'm tricked or anything. I remember this one. So that'll reroll all the um, item pedestals. I do want to try to blow this up. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, one more. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Careful. I actually thought we were about to fight a boss there. When the text showed up at the top, I was a little scared. We'll buy whatever we need to buy in the, the shop to keep our HP decent as well. Okay. <laughs> it's four spirit hearts, so I think I'm going to buy it just to stay safe, you know? And I think I'm going to buy this as well. Maybe we can come back and play um, one of these just a little bit. Actually, we should look around because we want to get a curse room if we can find one. Where, are, where the heck is anything? Come on. Come on. Either way, the compass is good. Did we already fight a mini boss in here? We did fight them. Ah, we did fight the mini boss. Who was it? Sloth? How could I not remember this? It was guaranteed to be recent. Oh, shoot, the whoop is bad. And we don't have a per throw rune. Oh, we already used our four rune. What are the odds, though? It was probably, it already started as something else and then got rerolled, I guess. So we should have checked on that, but there was no way to know, man. I should have just... I should just make it common practice to explore the entirety of the floor first, I guess. Obviously, just taking a quick peek for uh, Tinted Rocks. So we should have, again, like a... 75 to 80-something percent chance of getting a deal with the Devil on the next floor, assuming we don't take Red Heart damage. We've also got uh, a great chance to get another set of Blood Banks, which I would not mind. And apart from that, I think we're done. Like, done with this floor. So let's do it. I mean, it's been 26... Are you fucking kidding me? It's been 26 minutes. It hasn't been that bad of a floor. I mean, we picked up Tech Point 5. Oh, we still need to see what the uh, Cube of Meat got rerolled into. Hoping for maybe like a torn photo or something. That's fine, dog. As far as I'm concerned, that is A-OK. -okay. We're going to save our HP. I've given enough money to the, the crooks on this floor. You're a crook, Captain Hook, at you will surely throw the book. I don't remember exactly how the Arrested Development song went, but you get the idea. I'm making a reference. I'm being referential. 
Okay. We've got this weird run. It's like a hobble together from scraps. But it's okay. It's like, it's not bad. Joker, Joker. They said the Joker was a wanted man. So I like appreciate this. 27 minutes already. Holy crap. I keep checking it as if like, wait, I can't possibly be 27 minutes into Ah! I can't possibly be 27 minutes into the run already. Don't blow up the door. Oh, here we go. It's another message probably. It's Mathis. Hey, here's, let me guarantee for you what Mathis said. Oh, sorry, I can't play Rocket League. I gotta go tomorrow, so I gotta get these videos rendered. Oh, he literally just tweeted me as I said that. It'll be back soon. I'm flying out tomorrow, so lots of things I gotta take care of. Look, do I know these people or do I know these people? I know these people. They're my people. Okay. Is that a second fool card? I think it is. Uh, I will take the left hand. I think it's it's worth it, right? Like, we wanna... Ooh. We want to take a crack at uh, this guppy dream. We got to do so with gusto. Temperance Joker. Okay, it's only one fool. No, man, this just signed on to play Rocket League. I didn't mean to use the fool card there. I got so excited because he literally just tweeted me. He was like, sorry, I can't do that thing that somebody's asking me to do. I got to fly out tomorrow. And then I see him sign on on Steam and play Rocket League. You dirty dog. That's as low as we can go. That puts us on a half heart if my counting is correct. Bear Taffy has invited you to play Rocket League. I'm actually going to have to block him on Steam. As as you can uh, see, it has slowed the game down immensely. Oh my god, and it continues to. This guy is, um, he's not my favorite person anymore. He used to be up there. Now he's making it look like I'm doing some kind of weird-ass tool-assisted speedrun. Game's running at like a frame and a half per second. So let's murder all these, and then I'll pause it, and I will sign offline on Steam. Like so. And he can go fudge himself. I swear to God, if it has broken the frame rate of this game permanently, I will be displeased with his bitch ass. He's a little B with a little P as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, this was a library and I should have known this. And maybe I did and I just didn't care. We still got an item room in the shop and there is a curse room. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to take the Joker card with me for a while, but maybe we'll get a second Joker card right here. Alright, that was probably a little bit of a tall ask, but still. Pop up. Pop up, baby. You want to pop up like a music video on VH1. Quad shot. I like it. Does it change tech point five? No. But, uh, for some weird reason, now I'm shooting four tiers. I'm joking. I'm unobservant. I'm not that unobservant. Bible is pretty terrible here. Um, let's buy this and just... Do we know this pill? That was, like, certainly not worth it. Donate as much as we can. I think we should go back to that curse room. I mean, this is obvious, but I'm just saying that I... I definitely agree that that is the right decision. You got, like, an eternal heart for me or something in here? Uh, just uh, one of those bad boys you can't do anything with. Okay. Jeremiah Sanchez was one of those bad boys they just couldn't do anything with. As played by a fortune teller. Uh, at least we didn't get an eternal heart, so if he gets some more HP, we could go play our blood bank a little bit if we want to. But I don't really want to. Uh, and there is a boss trap room over here as well, so we can always... Oh, good. Oh, good. We can always uh, play that blood bank and get back to the amount of HP that we need to to enter those rooms. We know that we have a decent amount of spirit heart sight. Maybe we don't, and I should stop? Now I can't remember. Jeremiah Sanchez couldn't remember how to stop. We can't enter this yet. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I am actually thinking that we will Joker card out of this. We'll open the door, see what's in it, Joker card out, try to become Guppy. We have nine lives, so I'm not sweating my HP that much here. How much HP did we freaking pick up, dog? Please let me just go. Oh, there we go. So I'm thinking we open it. We do not become Guppy, so we Joker card out. Uh, we do pick up Death's Touch. Yes, that's something that is uh, very much in my interest to do so. Now, we probably would have gotten a deal with the devil anyway, but I was like, this saves me some hassle. It's not a good play, strictly speaking, but it's not necessarily a bad play. You want to do a little bit more exploration to make up for it? Sure, let's do so. I want to 
use these flies but kill this guy naturally so I can get a double dose of flies before the boss fight. Um, and I do wish I kept that orbital now that I think about it because we got HP instead. I ended up just trading the HP away regardless. Um, for Death's Touch, which is good, but we, we could have traded away with the same amount of HP and it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, but we could have used it to great effect on the mom fight, but we probably are not going to be that stuck for damage on the mom fight anyway, right? Like, at least you'd expect with Tech Point 5 and uh, Death's Touch, we'd have a pretty good chance. I did call Death's Touch, maybe on the last run, but we're done here. We know what's in that deal with the devil. Let's head down to the next floor. I don't see any Tinted Rocks. We have the compass at least, so we roughly know where to go. Let's make it happen, baby. We had a lot of spirit hearts, actually. Okay, so we do want to hit up the curse room, of course. We want to hit up the curse room because I just happen to like curse rooms. But mostly, I am um, thinking that it would be real nice for us to be able to get that guppy item. And then, with hive mind and death's touch, just ball out of control and win forever. Don't just walk through these. Nick's been trying to tell people, oh, you know, you can just... Oh, there we go, we're guppy. You know you can just walk through those? Yes, you can. And if you never get hit by it, by all means. And if you hate getting spirit hearts from blue fires, by all means. And if you have no bombs, that's really the only means in which I really mean by all means. However, you're gonna get a... That's like... It has a better chance of paying out with a spirit heart than like a tinted rock does. You might as well blow it up. You only stand the game. So we're guppy now. Guppy with hive mind. We could... Uh, I mean, could do that. Is that a tinted rock? It's hard to tell, I gotta shine my light on it. Whoa! Mm, guppy, let your light shine down on the tinted rock, baby, thinking, whoa! <laughs> gotta come up with a one word there, one word accent. I don't know why I went with thinking, but hey, I'm a thinking man's kind of poet, I think. Mm, teach me how to cat, teach me how to scat. Don't teach me how to scat, actually, that's not my thing. I'd prefer to sing. Thank you, Guppy's Caller, by the way. Now we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, and we are well on our way. Freaking Michael A.O. Fox is tweeting me now. Like, what are you... Some people have to work here, okay? Some people got uh, streaks to rebuild. And this motherfucker's probably tweeting me a picture. Every time Fox streams... Michael A.O. Fox, if you're not familiar, I know, like, these videos have the largest audience of anything that I do, so you might very well be unfamiliar with who I am beyond this. One of my friends is named Michael A.L. Fox. No, he's not related to Michael J. Fox. Yes, they are both Canadian. Yes, he's a big fan, actually. Okay, got that out of the way. Uh, might as well check it out, right? Probably we should drop the left hand now, too, so let's take advantage of this opportunity to do that. Every time he streams, I'd, I'll be, like, minding my own fucking business, and then I'll get, like, a thousand tweets. I don't watch his streams, because even though he's my friend, I hate him. And I'm being sarcastic, he's a, he's a great guy. But still, every time he streams, I end up getting these nonsense tweets. And this one, today, I got a bunch of tweets that say, Don't blend cold fries. Don't blend cold fries. And I'm like, oh, this is meaningless. What, did I say this in an episode? Because I'm not uh, immune to saying dumb shit either. You know, sometimes I'd be like, hey, tweet me that the mailman's at the door, so I remember to edit this video. And then I get like 100 tweets the next week, like, wait, the mailman's at the door, and I'm like, oh, right, I remember now. Um, but anyway, this is irrelevant. I get like 1,000, well, not 1,000, but like 30 t tweets that say, don't blend cold fries. And I'm like, what is this, what are they talking about? And then I go to Michael L. Fox's stream, and he's telling them to send that. This is a, the friends that I have, man. They're like, hey, just harass Northern Lion with this freaking nonsense for no reason real good friend, right? And you know what? I'm not going to tell you to tweet Michael L. Fox anything. Because I am a good friend of his. So don't don't ruin his day, alright? You just... He's a nice dude. You can tw check out his Twitch channel. Because that's how I repay my friends. And maybe his, my kindness will make him be kinder in the future. This is uh, turning into a very fast run as a result of that guppy pickup. And I'm so happy as a result of it. Also, thank you, Quadshot and Tech.5 for... Uh, augmenting me a little bit on this run, but we had such shit damage, and now it's, like, all coming through for us here. I'm so happy. So this is gonna be, what, like, an eight streak? We're starting to build up some, you know, reputation here to some extent, at least. It feels good. This has been a very fast kind of, like, turnaround for us. Cricket's body is so good here. Uh, no. Mom's eye, I guess, is kind of fun. We don't really need the money, so why take the money? Let's be on our merry way here. We've had a lot of runs that have been like this lately. Like, start out shitty and then just become so out of control that we finish the run within like eight minutes of picking up the next uh, amazing item. It's pretty much where I feel like we're at right now. I'm so happy we did take Hive Minds. Like, that ended up being very much the right decision, I think. Oh, yeah, thank you. And now we've got my antivirus software. 
You need to restart your computer. Should probably restart my computer. I mean, like, my antivirus software does not have much reason to lie to me. I'm just saying. I'm busy right now. Could you wait until you're the active window and then tell me? Because then I'll be able to do so. I'll be able to help you out. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very quick finish here, man. Like, this was... The staggering speed at which we finished this run. We weren't even close for boss. It was like eight minutes after getting Death's Touch. Almost to the second. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. That was a fun one. Fun one. We're at eight. We're almost back into double digits for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Uh, for now, I'll subscribe if you want to see more, of course. And I'll see you next time with another episode. Peace.